there's some reflection of that closeness of friendship, the solidarity of friendship, in our lives with all of our fellow citizens. But it's only a reflection, an image. This is where the word model is important. Friendship is a model for a renewed citizenship. That doesn't mean we collapse citizenship into friendship, nor friendship into citizenship. One is a model for the other because we respect the differences, but see how some of the goods of friendship also are imitated in the goods of citizenship. So from Aristotle's point of view, our responsibilities at more subsidiary levels of political and social organization in our families, in our work, in our careers, all of those commitments enable us to make a contribution to the larger political community. And we should seek that kind of contribution. But we shouldn't think that the way for that contribution to happen is to undermine the very basis of those private lives that we bring into the public sphere. Now, there are many things one could say about this debate, call it, between Plato's radical communism and Aristotle's defense of an appropriate private life. And it seems to me that this debate plays a central role in Catholic social thought. I won't go into that in any great detail here, I just mean to mark it. When you look at the catechism of the Catholic Church, for example, where a lot of this reflection has been uh, put together in an accessible way, you see that the sections on subsidiarity as a social good, the way that we protect the levels of privacy of the family, for example, from the intrusions of the state, but yet expect the family to provide some service to our fellow citizens. We see that that balance is already there in the catechism in a very complex and interesting way. So that subsidiarity and solidarity don't compete or cancel each other. They actually support each other and make our society stronger, give us a place to do good at the political level by grounding us in the responsibilities that are closer to us in private life. 